All right, this question here, this question is from Foundation 24.4, number 11. Uh, this is a question about Mount Logan in the Yukon Territory. It's Canada's highest peak. It's the highest peak uh, in North America. It's only the second highest, uh, only second only to Mount McKinley. So an amateur climber is trying to calculate the height of Mount Logan. From her campsite, the angle of elevation to the summit measures 35 degrees. So angle of elevation is always measured from the horizontal. Let's say that's about 35 degrees, and um, this is the summit up here. Okay, so what happens is she walks 500 meters closer up a 10 degree inclined slope. So if we say this is about 10, she walks 500 meters closer, she has a new angle of elevation to the summit of 38. So here is horizontal from her new position, this is 38. Okay. Her campsite's an altitude of 1834, so we have 1834 meters down to the base there, uh, the, the level ground, ground zero. Determine the height of Mount Logan to the nearest 10 meters. Okay. So, uh, so we're going to go, we're going to try and find this whole height here, right down to the very bottom. But if I can find uh, this height right here, from here to here, and that being a right triangle there, then... I'll be good. What I need though is I need the hypotenuse here. Okay? So how do I find that? Well, we're given enough information. This is 10 degrees here. So that means this is 10 degrees, right? Parallel lines. And this part right here we know is 142. It's su supplementary to 138. So this big angle right here is 152. We have 500. 35 minus 10 is 25. So this is 25 inside the circle here. I'm sorry, inside the triangle. So we have, let me redraw that triangle for you. We have this triangle happening, 152, 25, and 500. So what I can do is I could do what? Well, I could find this angle and I could use the sine law to find this side. So I have an angle and I'd have its paired opposite side angle and I could find this one. So this is how you set that up. So we get x here as 4485.17. Okay, so that's going to be the hypotenuse here. That's this length. So now if we look at this as a right triangle, okay, I can find this height because this is 4485 as a hypotenuse. And this is our original angle of inclination there, elevation 35. So that is sine 35 equals h over 4485. And so height is 4485.17 times sine 35. So we'll do that. This is 2572.59 is the height here. So right there. Okay. And so that is going to be the height from the top of the mountain there to the base camp. And so we just simply add 1834 to this number. So let's do that. Plus 1834. And we get 44.06. So 1834 plus 2572.59 is our new value of 4406. And the question does say to the nearest 10 meters, to the nearest 10 meters. So that's going to be 4410 is going to be your height of Mount Logan.